concerns they have. Uh, comfort is the biggest issue for us, but efficiency and the environment are also very important. And then there's certain things that we know about homes that maybe the customer doesn't, and so we try to educate at the same time and really just you know, do this whole house approach of finding all the issues. A whole array of things that we can actually improve. Insulation, uh, windows, the roof is less of an issue with the attic. Um, wherever the insulation actually is in the attic is what we care about. Um, heating system is kind of all mechanical equipment is important uh, because you can make some big changes with that. Uh, and then oh, on the electric side there's appliances, lighting, uh, there's water usage on the heating side again. Uh, so basically this is going to be used to depressurize the house. So we're going to suck all the air out of the house and as we do that, that air has to be made up somehow so it's drawn in through all the holes and cracks and leaks everywhere. Uh, and this. All this kind of apparatus here just gives us a, a pressure and a baseline to see how tight a building is and compare it to other buildings. All I'm doing right now is just seeing how much air is coming from each room. Uh, usually there's a little bit because you have leaks around windows and things like that, but uh, a room that has a lot of air coming from it has a major issue and then we can go in and figure out what it is. So even though it's summertime, if you can see that in the camera, you've got that bright orange line around the hatch uh, and so that's actually hot air from the attic leaking down into the house uh, and you can see the hatch is actually to warm itself because it's not really insulated uh, and so these are the types of things we're looking for because in the winter time that's the same spot that heated air is going to actually leave the house uh, but there's blown in insulation in the slopes here uh, and you can see there's just a couple little kind yeah. of flaws there nothing it's not too crazy, but you can see that there's heated air getting through that, hitting the, the drywall here and the plaster. Um. So it's a lot of really dedicated people working long hours because we all know it's, it's for a great cause. I mean, when you think about someone's grandmother living in a drafty, uninsulated home, uh, you know, <laughs> spending $6,000 a year on oil, and we can come in and at almost no cost to them, cut that in half or more. It's, you know, that's a pretty nice feeling and that's the kind of thing that helps the guys get through being in the attic, <laughs> you know, in, in, in 100 degrees, you know, wearing a suit and blowing in insulation on your knees and everything.